Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to design my custom bit of furniture. As you can see, I've already made one here, but we're starting from scratch. So what we do first is go to Families and go New. Once you do that, you go down and try and find the furniture base model, whatever you'd call it, which is just here. Wait for it to load. My computer is not the newest, so it does take a little bit. There we go, about time. Okay, as you can see, it comes up with uh, access to help you um, work around what you're actually doing. So right now we're on reference level with the floor plan. And the first thing I do is I click on extrusion. And once that pops up, creating a circle. Because we're creating a stool, that's basically the basis for practical stools. Now what you want is to determine the radius of your stool. It can be anything really, but usually they're around 40 centimeters wide. So do something, say 240. So we'll click there and then click the tick. Now as you can see on the floor plan, it's just boring up, boring circle. So we'll go to elevations to see what we've done. And we can see we've got a little cylinder thing. Now what we want to do is determine a height for how far our seat is going to be off the ground. So what we do now is go create and pick a reference line. From there we'll go from the base level up to however high you want your stool to actually be. We'll go on meter for now, but that can always change later. So once you enter your meter, just hit escape a few times. Now what we're going to do is go modify and click on, this will be the stool cushion. Now what we want to do is drag this bit up all the way to our meter mark. Now basically all it is is a meter big long cushion. Now we don't quite want that, so what we do is bring the bottom of the cushion up underneath it. and. As we can see up here, it's got a depth. Now, have the depth of whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, so we'll just say 20. And I've just realized my recording software only does three minute intervals, so this might actually be interesting. Okay, okay now once we do that, we go back to floor plans. And then we have to create legs for the stool now. So we go back to our reference lines and we have to make them an equal length apart all around the circle. So easy one to do is just 140 up, 140 across. And if we want them equal, we'll just double that value to 280 the whole way around. 280, 280, done. Now we can clear away the middle one because we won't need that. And now this is the basis for each of our legs. Now where we'll go is create, extrusion again, and then to the rectangles. So we'll go to each corner of this and we'll make our own thickness for the legs. This can be whatever you want as well, but I just think 40 is an easy number. Again, you can put practically any value in because then we can just edit them later. So you go modify. Click on it. Whoops, not 400. 40. Forty. Pretty sure one of these was a little off. Yeah, there we go. Forty. Now that that's done, click the tick, and now we've got our legs. Now when we go back to the elevations, we'll see that the legs do not reach anywhere near the top of the stool. That is easy. Just click on them, drag them all the way up to the bottom, and we're done. Now when we go to the 3D view, we can see... Oh, click front because it zooms away. That we have the basis of a stool.
at the moment. Now what we want to do is reinforce the legs. So go back to front elevation, create another reference line, up however far you want to go. And we'll just say 200 mil, that's fine. And create our own reference line. Done. Go back to floor plans. And what we're going to do is create, once again, more squares and connect them to what is um, our old legs. So just connect to those two. Tick. Go back to front elevations. And we can see that's one big rectangle there. Now, like all before, just click on it and move your extrusion point. And then from that step, we just work out how thick we want our bracing to actually be. So once that's done, again, if you want to check how you go, just go to 3D views, and you can see the bracing there like that. If you want extra additional ones on the other side, add a staggered, staggered or even equal <coughs> footing. Oh, I want ceiling plans. Just redo the last step that we did. Create extrusion. Connect it to the other side. Like so, tick, go back to, actually we'll want left elevation, we're not looking at it from the front anymore, and again just change where you want it. So say the bottom of it will equal the top of the last one, and then we'll just change the thickness a bit, like that, go back to 3D views, and they're a little staggered. Now that's pretty easy for just a plain standard stool and by the looks of it, it would be a little hard to sit on. Now if we want, we can use another tool and create an even better cushion. Something that looks more, I don't know how you say, stooly. So go create and I tinkered around with this revolve tool and I think I know how it works. So what it actually does is creates, actually, if you even look at the picture that it does, create, whoops. If you look at the picture, basically you create a shape and then revolve it around an imaginary axis, uh, axis that you draw. So we'll click on that. We'll start off with the boundary line as just a normal straight line. We'll start from the center and go outwards. Actually, we'll change it to front elevation. Scroll up. Now we'll start from the center of the stool and work our way right out to the edge. Then we'll change to a curved line. It works from start to the end and then radius. So what you do is pick the start bit, choose how thick you want this cushion to be and then work out your radius. I usually just go with the tangent because it's a lot easier. Make that line, go back to your straight line, connect it to the middle because this is where it's going to rotate and then finish the shape. Now once that's all we have to put in is our axis line. So click axis line, start from the middle because that'll be the area the cushion rotates around. Tick and then done. And now we have our cushion. Let me check it out in 3D. There you go. It doesn't look like much without any shaded texture. There, now I can see the depth to the actual image. And if you want, you can go around and just delete all our old reference lines. And there's our stool. And you can import that into your project. And personally, I use mine around the kitchen so you can get up really close to the counter. And yeah, that's it.